Hi guys, so today I'm just going to teach you how to make these really simple pom-pom eyes and depending on how you do them creates these wonderful different effects See, so this one, you can see it's got more of a natural curve to the eye that you would normally see whereas this one is more rounded and also bloodshot and if you notice this one also has a bigger pupil from the iris so it really gives it an interesting look and this one it's a little crazy monster one. As you see, it doesn't have any white ballpark coming from here or here. And it just gives a very different look. But I still think it's quite cool. And you can do all different shapes um, and all different variations of where you put these so that you get different looks. So you don't have to stick to the basic eyeball shape. You can go round or you can just go completely weird. It doesn't matter. It's just part of the fun of making monster eyeballs. So I'm going to show you how to do them. So, obviously, you need your pom-pom maker. Um, a cardboard one will do, but I use a clover pom-pom maker. A decent pair of scissors, very important. Um, and then your chosen yarn. So, obviously, I have black for the pupil. I have purple for the iris. I have white for the ball, which apparently is gaining yellow. There we go. <laughs> um, I have red for bloodshot um, which is apparently attached to the green which will be the background so really simple um, so we're going to start with your pom pom maker and the black yarn okay and we're just going to start with the pupil now what we need to do is open up one side we're going to put the pupil right in the middle here. This side will all be green, your background colour. So there's no pattern done on that side, it's only this side. So we're just going to wrap your black around. Now depending on how big a pupil you want, depends on how much you put here. Try to keep it roughly on top of itself. And only go out by a couple of rows. And this should help give you a really nice... Pupil. See, so this one was done with just a small amount here, so whereas this one was done with a much larger amount, you can get a blown out pupil, and this one was also done with a small one. So it's your choice how much you put in here to how big you want your pupil to look and to be blown out. I think that's probably going to do for me, so I'm just going to wrap it off. So I probably wrapped it, wrapped it what, a dozen times or something, it doesn't really matter. So next we want to make, obviously, the iris colour. So in our case, and it's purple. So we're going to start with wrapping to the side here. So just hold some yarn in place and then just wrap around. Again, how much you put here is entirely up to how big you want the iris to be. So... So you see this one, we've got a reasonable size iris. And this one's a slightly thinner iris because we've got the big pupil. And this one has a very small iris going around. So, it's entirely up to you. <laughs> okay, so you just need to decide how big you want your iris. Um, so I think I'm going to go with this sort of size this time around. If you look at the top, you can get a rough idea of where you're going. So now just go across the bottom here. Just lean across, and we're going to do the same amount on this side. So just try to see how big you did one side and mimic it on the other side. It doesn't have to be perfect, just try to get it around and then just cover the whole of the black. So we're just covering the whole of the black. It doesn't matter if you wrap one way for one colour and one way for the other, because at the end of the day it's all going to look the same. So, once you've covered the whole black, that's going to be, let's show you. So that's now surrounding the black. Whereas this one, if you don't cover it, you only get a small amount around, which is still really cool to do. So you could choose not to cover that. Um, but we're going to cover it for now. And just snip that one off. And again, hold that in place and move on to the white. So now we're going to do the actual ball part. And it's the same process, if I can work out where I stuck my end. There we go. <laughs> so it's the same process. Just start on this side 
and wrap. Hold that purple in place. So wrap around. And again, you want to do, if you want to point a yarn end, do it thinner to this end than here. So do a few there and then do more up here. And that will give you a pointier end. Or if you want a rounder end, keep it all even. And we're going to do the same thing, just go across the other side, so across the bottom there, and do the same thing on this side. So again, try to mimic what you're doing. So you decide how you want it and then just fill up. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, this is just a bit of fun. But there. And then we're going to cover over the whole purple as well. And that will have our ball surrounding it. And again, this is something you don't have to do if you don't want to. And um, you can do like the odd shape monster and not cover it. And if you don't cover it, you get this funky. So if you only do the sides and no covering, you get this funky looking one. Whereas if you cover, you get these results. No cover. If you want bloodshot, you would add the colour in. I'm just going to show you quickly. I'm not going to do bloodshot in this one, but I will show you how you do it. As you're wrapping, so as you're wrapping before you start covering this bit, you just dot in a few bloodshot pieces and then you'd wrap some more white around and then cover some more red in it. So you're just dotting in the bloodshot. Um, so it's really simple um, but I'm not going to do bloodshot this time around. But yeah, the blood shot's just wrapped up. So once you've covered all of that as much as you want, try to make sure you've got it as even as you want it. And you're just going to snip that off. And now we're doing the background colour. So this is the green. And again, we're going to do the same process. So green up this, then this side, and then we're going to cover the whole lot. So just... Hold it in place and start. There you go. Okay. I'm just going to wrap that around until it gets roughly the same height as the white, which of course will be quite a few rows because we've already got black, purple, and white in that centre part. So I'm just wrapping it around. And then when you've got it roughly about right, do the same thing, go across there and do this side. And you're spooning it up. So now it's about even, so you're going to cover the whole lot. And you're just going to make sure you basically cover this whole thing and get it as thick as you want it. It doesn't have to be neatly done because you can do several layers to cover back over where you haven't done. You want to make a nice thick pom pom. Yeah. Maybe go a little slower around the bits you want to cover. So let me make sure you cover them. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I like to try to make sure I've at least got most of it covered. Make sure you've really got these ends as level as the centre. Really wrapping it around. Have a look, see if you've missed anything, and if you have, just go over it. See, so you can see I need some there along the top there. Just a couple along there. Again, it doesn't matter if you don't cover them all because it's going to have the green from the bottom as well. But I like to try to at least give one layer of each one or more. So, 
There you go, so it's all covered. Let's see, I've got quite a good size on there. Really got it padded out. So give it a nice big fluffy pom pom. So we just make sure we finish at that end because we're going to close that down, open up this side, and just continue working on this side. We're just going to wrap this all the way around and get it to the same thickness as this side. That's all you have to do on this one, just no colour needed, just literally the background colour in our, this case the green. Just going to wrap it all the way around so it's fully thick as the other ones. Wrapping it around. Obviously, you guys can hold this at a different angle so it's quicker for you, but I'm trying to keep it visible on camera. So, if you do have any questions, then just pop them down below and I can remake a video to show you anything I didn't make clear or we'll try to explain it to you. But I think these are reasonably self explanatory. Once you see the process, you'll realise you can do pretty much anything. You can make all sorts of animals with these. You should look up pom pom animals, there's loads, it's great. Um, but you can do all sorts of characters and faces. Um, if you haven't seen it already, check out the pumpkin one that I've done already this month. It will be linked in the playlist this one will be in. Just going to wrap and wrap until this is as fat as the other side. We are almost there. It's getting nice and firm. Basically these are so full they only just close back up again. That's how I like these to be. Okay. So close that up. Snip off your yarn. Now we're just going to snip down the middle of these. Good pair of scissors is a must on this. Okay, so you can see it shaping. So just grab some yarn. I like to use the same yarn that I've done the outside on, but you can use anything you like, really. And we're just going to pop it down the middle and around the sides. Really pull it tight. You should see the whole thing kind of cinch inwards if you're pulling it tight enough. Back around this side. doing basic knots and really pulling it in. You want to make sure you're using a good strong thread for this so that you can pull tight before it snaps. Okay, do a second knot on the same side to really secure that in. There we go. 
and pull out stray ones that have escaped. So I'm going to open them up. It's a bit stiff because we really packed these in. Pack these off. Pack them out of the way. Give it a little shake. I think it's rid of any of the little ends like that were over the edge. And there's your basic pom pom. So we've got our pupil and our iris and our white and all right. And now it's time to trim it down. So I'm just going to come out a little while we trim because the pot gets in the way otherwise. Come out a little more. You can see these are from all previous ones I've been doing. I keep them all for no apparent reason. I just like them. <laughs> so we're just going to trim off and down. Take it to around about half the size it originally was, but just do it slowly so you can really see the eye take shape. This is one of the messiest parts of the job because it gets everywhere. And it likes to pop. Cutting away, trimming it until you get down to the sort of size you want, so it's nice and neat and showing everything you need. So you, see, you can see the difference between that and that. It's already looking better. It's better to take small amounts and recut the same area than to take large amounts. So maybe don't cut quite as much as I do in one go. But I've been doing these for a while now, so I'm getting used to how much I can safely cut. Try to keep your strand that you're supporting to hang it up with out of the way so you don't accidentally cut it off. But if you do, you can just thread a new one through so it doesn't matter. As you see, we cut quite a bit off. You don't have to do this. If you want a more straggly looking one, you can leave them on. But I really like to cut mine down and get the full effect. And it really helps you with shaping the actual ball as well. brush around and check any extra strands you need to cut. It might get missed. See, it is pretty messy, but once you've trimmed it down, you can then see your eyes. So you just kind of shape it with your finger, get your bits in the right places because they do like to wander. Take off any extra bits that are caught on from the cut. And you can do any fine tuning that you might need to do. But there we go. There's your simple monster's eye. 
but it's really simple to do and they're really soft and fluffy but as I said each one can be ever so slightly different but still look fabulous and you come up with some really funky designs but there we go let's zoom in for a little bit there so that's how you simply make a pom pom eye so I hope that's helped. Any questions, pop them in the um, comments section below and I will try to answer them for you. Okay, so take care. Bye.